we have a history that goes back at least 3,500 years ago. One thing that was missing is the connectivity between both countries. So I'm very happy that Egypt Air has taken this step and that we're finally having a direct connection between Cairo and Delhi. It is history that we have between us. We have a history that goes back at least 3,500 years ago. At least 3,500 years ago, we have had contacts, we have had relations, and these relationships are going stronger and stronger. But one thing that was missing is the connectivity between both capitals. These are two of the, of the, of the oldest capitals in the world and two of the oldest civilizations in the world that have never been connected. Today, we are connecting them. And so I'm very happy that Egypt Air has taken this step and that we're finally having a direct connection between Cairo and Delhi. So what is the relevance when the Prime Minister Modi visited Cairo, is it, and you are announcing the direct flight from the two countries, right. is there any relevance? Of course, of course. When uh, yeah, the Honorable Prime Minister was in Cairo just over six weeks ago, um, um, uh, an agreement was signed on a strategic cooperation between Egypt and India. But strategic cooperation needs people-to-people -people contact because people are actually the ones who are going, the, 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 the relationships actually strategic. So without a direct connection, the efforts were very difficult. Now things are going to be easier for both countries to connect, easier for tourists to go, easier for tourists to come. And as I always say, tourists are not only tourists. We look at them as tourists, but each and every one of them have a profession. Some of them are business people. Some of them are scientists. Some of them are university professors. Some of them are scholars. So we really have to look at tourism as a means to promote people-to-people -people contact because they come with opportunities, they come with ideas, and this is very important for our strategic relationship. So, uh, you know, traveling uh, with or to any country, it's required visa. What kinds of visa are you currently providing? Can we get the visa on arrival, uh, or e-visa, or uh, getting easy visa uh, from the embassy? Let me tell you that the visa should be the least of your, of your worries, because the embassy will issue the visa in a very short time, Nobody has ever complained about this, but also I'm happy to announce that for uh, holders of Indian passport who have visas from the U.S. or Schengen visas or Canadian visas or Australian visas, they can enter into Egypt uh, uh, with a visa, a visa upon arrival. And there is also the possibility for tourist group to apply for electronic visas. So it should be the least of your worries. Please consider coming to Egypt and then you will find that everything will be easier, uh, easy concerning visas. How do you find that the connectivity between two countries directly will uh, increase the trade between two countries? That's what I was just saying. When people come, we look at them as tourism, uh, as tourists, but sometimes we forget that some of them are actually business people. So they come and they explore possibilities. They look with one eye at all the things that tourists look at, but look, they look with the other eye at, at, at business opportunities. So it, it's good for tourism as well as for trade and for investments. And Excellency, what's your appeal to the, and your message to the Indian citizen and the tourists? Please go and visit Egypt because Egypt is a place that can offer you something that no one else can offer. Other places can offer you good places for uh, resorts, for beaches, good places for shopping, but nobody in the world, no other place in the world can offer you what Luxor can offer you in terms of the ancient Egyptian uh, uh, civilization. No other country in the world can offer you what Cairo can offer you in terms of Isl Islamic architecture, old Egyptian architecture, Coptic architecture, uh, Greek architecture, uh, European architecture. It all comes together in Egypt because Egypt has always been uh, uh, a pot uh, uh, bringing civilizations together and giving you the best that the world can give you. So please do come and visit Egypt.